Hi everyone, Beth Stein with the Beth and CJ Stein team. I'm here today with John Hall with the local Caring Transitions franchise. We've partnered together and helped quite a few of our clients over the last few years. John's company helped families, especially senior citizens, deal with the stress of right sizing and relocating. John, thank you so much for joining us today. It's such a pleasure to have you here. CJ and I so um, appreciate you and all that you do for all of our clients. It's really great. Um, tell me and share with everybody, how did you get into this business? Beth, first of all, thank you so much for hosting me. Uh, mm -hmm. And it is a pleasure to work with you and CJ and the rest of the team. Uh, I got into this business after a long career in the corporate world. Uh, I was working mostly with healthcare providers and I thought that I wanted to continue to do something on my own, working with healthcare providers. Uh, fortunately or unfortunately, some personal circumstances actually led me into this field. Uh, while I was looking in the healthcare field, I came across uh, some opportunities dealing with senior relocations. But I really didn't connect the dots until my mother-in-law had a had a cancer diagnosis. Uh, she lived in the Poconos and she was a couple hours away. And my brother-in-law, my wife, the grandchildren, nobody was nearby. We realized we needed to get her closer to us to be able to support her and help her uh, deal with her, her battle. So uh, as we started to think about that and look into it, we realized we couldn't go out and buy beer and pizza and have her friends come over and help. They're late 70s and early 80s. There were no grandchildren or kids nearby. Uh, and hiring a mover just wasn't going to cut it because there were so many other things to deal with. So I realized very quickly there were lots of gaps in support uh, and that she was not going to be able to pull all this together. There were just too many moving parts. And I started to quickly realize that Maybe I was going to be able to help people improve their well-being while not necessarily improving or providing health care. Uh, and that was a big aha moment for me. So I realized that if I could take away some of the stress they were feeling and coordinate a lot of the moving pieces, I could facilitate them getting closer to the things that were important to them. Family, a support system, maybe activities, uh, maybe health care. Uh, and being in a safe, stress-free environment because there's no more maintenance to deal with. So that, that was how I got into the business. That's great. It, it, is, um, it really is a stressful time for families. So it, it's so nice that you recognize that need and you're able to serve people in that regard. What do you find, John, is the biggest obstacle holding people back with, re with their relocation? Oh gosh, well, it, it's pretty common for me to hear the first word out of anyone's mouth say, overwhelmed. Uh, families, individuals are just overwhelmed. And, and I can relate, you know, after raising two children in a large house and having moved several times, I look around and say, holy cow, I got a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, when folks have been in a home for 20, 30, 40, 50 years, um, they're completely overwhelmed and perhaps for the first time in their lives, they don't feel like they're in control. There's just so much to do and there's so little time to do it. Um, that normally just, you know, the normal reaction is people feel stressed. They get anxiety and sometimes they're just paralyzed. You know, where do I begin? I, I'm not physically able to do things. Um, I feel guilty getting rid of things. I'm resentful of the fact I have to do this. Uh, and it just creates a, a very difficult, stressful situation for folks. So overwhelmed is, is kind of the thing we, we deal with all the time. Yeah, I agree with you. It is overwhelm. Um, and especially in these times, it, it, it just is a enormous place of anxiety and stress. What are you able to do to help everyone with this? Well, I think the number one thing is I, I start to get them refocused and, and, and reinforce that they're in control. Because I think there's this sense that I'm not in control of my destiny. I can't get these things organized. Um, we we kind of reinforce with them that they're in control, that 
we can set a, a timeline together. We can do things together. Mm -hmm. uh, and I try to help them focus on why they're moving. Um, oftentimes folks lose sight of that and it really helps ground them. Um, people want to be closer to family. They want to have more time to travel. Uh, they want to have a more convenient lifestyle. They're tired of the home maintenance, the picking up the sticks after a storm, the painting, things breaking. So they're looking for convenience. Uh, sometimes they're just tired of walking up two flights of stairs every day. Uh, there are just a number of lifestyle changes that I think they're starting to embrace. Um, and it's really important that, you know, in today's society, a lot of folks talk about downsizing. And downsizing has kind of a negative connotation. When you do down anything, it means you're going in the wrong direction. We really focus on right sizing. Right sizing is so important that, you know, we've all gone through it. You know, we come out of college, we don't care where we live, we do a third floor walk up and we have a one bedroom apartment and we're independent and it's great. Then we make a little bit of money, we move to a nicer place, we get married, we move to a bigger place, we raise children, we have different needs. Well, at some point in your life, you have all this space and all this stuff and it's not a part of your lifestyle anymore. So helping folks realize that it's not a negative, it's just an evolution, it's a phase. So we do a lot to, to work with people to understand that they're doing something that's good for them. Uh, then we really try to get at the concerns. So what is it that's creating this anxiety? What's stressing you out about this? And so often it's, we don't have enough time to do this. Uh, we can't physically do this. These things have so much sentimental value. Um, I don't know if I can afford it. It's going to cost money. And so we really try to get them to, okay, get that out in the open so that we can start one by one addressing them. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's really kind of straightforward that when you're overwhelmed, it's all just one big mess. But when you sit down and you break it down one by one, uh, we take them through time is not a big challenge when you have help and the help that we can provide can greatly reduce the amount of time that you need to do things um, the the feelings of guilt and the concerns about value because of the breadth of services we offer um, when we have suggestions on how to to capture memories and how to be able to go through belongings and, and focus on the experiences and the memories associated with it, not just the things. Uh, and then help prioritize. There are things that you want to take, but you don't need to take everything to, to, uh, to provide great memories. Um, we then, you know, we look at um, items that could be sold. We do online auctions and estate sales. And we help people sort through the things that are of real value and some things that they may have thought were of value, but really aren't quite as marketable, you know, and, and everyone has them. Souvenir glasses and, and linens and just stuff. Um, so we help them get through that piece. And then we put together the, top, the, the game plan. And the game plan really is a timeline. So is it a six month timeline, a 12 month timeline, a two month timeline? It varies. And depending upon what the needs are, we plug in the different activities that need to take place. Um, the whole time having the family, you know, guiding us through, you know, what's important and what's not. Uh, we set the priorities. Um, you know, what are the things that are most important to you? And we start identifying the things that absolutely are necessary, right? What things do you need? What things do you use on a regular basis? Uh, what things are, do you love or sentimental? You know, these are the things that are non-negotiable. I have to take that. And so once we go through that, we often find, we typically find that there is a whole lot of stuff that's just there that is taking up space. And so we systematically go in and just start deciding what's going to happen with that. Is it going to a family member? Is it going to a friend? Is it something that should be donated? Is it something that's just broken, old, stained, tattered? Should we just dispose of it? Is it something we're going to move? And we identify those and we mark them. And then over the scheduled time frame, we'll remove those. 
Um, you know, as we've worked with your group, we'll do the decluttering up front to help get a house prepared for sale, right? Mm -hmm. So that's a big thing. You know, being able to accelerate the preparedness for a home for sale, really important. Plus it provides a sense of control and, and gives a, a, a whole feeling of grounding when the clutter is kind of removed. So we work on things like that with the family. And then once those items have been prioritized, we can do things like arrange for the packing. We do packing for folks. Mm -hmm. We'll do floor planning, help determine what will fit, what, what won't fit, what's most appropriate. Uh, we'll coordinate the movers, make sure they're there on time, make sure they follow all the proper rules, uh, regulations for a community they may be moving into. We'll do the unpacking. Uh, we'll populate the, the kitchen, the bathroom, we'll make the beds, we'll hang pictures and mirrors. Uh, we'll remove all the boxes and paper so that it's a turnkey process. And that usually takes place the same day that the move in. So you pretty much by dinner time or walking into a home, you're not encumbered by boxes. And that's often a big concern for folks because when they've moved in the past, you know, they spent months unpacking. We do that in a day or two. Mm -hmm. And then finally, at the end, if there are things that need to be cleared out of the house, old paint, um, pesticides, tires, lumber, whatever, we can do a clean out and have the house ready for turnover at closing if the house is sold. So the important thing is that throughout the process, we make ourselves accessible and we work as a concierge. We're there to support the needs of the family. They're not alone. There is help available. If there are things that we don't do, we have resources and partners that we work with on a regular basis to fill in those gaps. Because when you do this every week, you see where the gaps are. And so uh, we're very, very um, grateful for the support we get from our, our partners. And we feel that that's an important element uh, to making the stress go away. Um, the bottom line is the process is manageable. It's very manageable and it can, and it can work very, very smoothly. Well, John, thank you. You mentioned something grounding and I, you said that word a couple of times, grounding. And again, I just appreciate you and your company and all that you've done to help our clients because yes, I think giving them that plan and really enabling them to get out of their fear and move forward. Um, what we found is once they get to where they're going, they are so happy and so relieved and the stress is over and you really do help that stress tremendously. And um, I just recall as I think back to the last client who we helped literally get moved and settled into their senior community in the middle of COVID. And um, I'm just so grateful that those folks are settled and they're safe. And what an amazing service that you provided for them and their family and just that safekeeping in the minds, especially of their family, of getting them moved. Um, if we, we couldn't have done the whole process without you, so thank you. No, it's a pleasure and it's a labor of love for us. Well, you've got to love what you do, that's for sure. Well, thank you so much. It's a pleasure to chat with you today. And everyone, um, again, if CJ or I can be any of any help to you, whether it's moving, meeting um, one or two years in advance to discuss our timeline of preparing your home, or if John and Caring Transitions can help you to think about that process as well, please call either of us and reach out and uh, we are here to help. So thank you again, John, and um, looking forward to our new spring and working and helping some more clients together. Thanks. Thank you. Alrighty, take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs>